All right, uh, we're gonna do a walkthrough on how to wire up the brand new carrier smart thermostat. So one recommendation for the install is to put in the back plate because these magnets need to sit perfectly flush against the wall, otherwise it rocks. So using the back plate is helpful for that. Um, as far as the wiring is concerned, uh, standard wiring. Uh, this is hooked up to a Performance Series 2 stage, uh, but there's no W2 because the board is controlling that on the furnace. Um, the part that I'm going to focus on here that's a little bit different are the accessory ports. So these are our dry ports, so it doesn't get any power from RC. So we have a humidifier hooked up to this, and I will show you how to get this to work but it requires two wires. Uh, you got a hot and a, a negative wire here. So we'll go down to the board and see how it's set up down there. So the humidifier is a, uh, most humidifiers are 24 volt solenoids and a standard application, it's wired into a humidistat. So the polarity doesn't matter on these solenoid valves as long as you got the hot going to one side and the, the common going to the other side, the neutral. Uh, it's just a, a switch essentially, so it doesn't really matter. Um, what you can do as far as wiring this into the thermostat, you got to get down to the board here. All right, so with the power off, we can see uh, this is coming down from the thermostat. Go all of our standard connections into the bus here. The, the performance line is non communicating, so yellow, red is, is our hot, and then we're using blue for common. Uh, but the brown and the orange are what we're using for a humidifier. So uh, since they're, they're dry contacts up there, we have to get 24 volts up to the thermostat for the accessory port. So that can go right into your humidifier terminal, or you could put it into your transformer. doesn't matter. So that's the brown that we saw up in the first accessory port. And then when that thermostat clicks and calls for humidity, it opens the circuit onto this orange wire here, and this is the hot that goes up to the humidifier. And then the white just goes to your, your common on the, on the strip there. And then as far as the humidistat, I elected instead of leaving a big hole in the return duct to patch, you just pop the wires off and just wire nut them together right here, and it functions just fine. Here's the, uh, the box for the product. Um, it can work as a two-stage thermostat. Um, again, the performance series, you either wire in the W2, and then the thermostat selects the stage, or the board has a CPU in it. So if you just let the board decide, there's a little switch on the, uh, on the board that you flip down, and then the board determines what stage to put the furnace in. And then you can just wire it like a, a single stage. That's what I would recommend doing. The manual has, has all that information in it. It's pretty pretty easy to figure out. So yeah, it's a, it's a DIY project if you want it to be. The uh, To set it up, you have to download the Carrier Tech app. You can log into the Carrier Tech app as a homeowner without an account if you want to and configure the thermostat. And then the thermostat for the user interface you go through the uh, the Carrier Home or the Carrier Smart Home app. So hopefully this was helpful. And uh, yeah, have a good one.